Welcome back, guys. It's Preet coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today, we are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 359, 60, something in a row. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. I hope you guys are all having a great old day. So, today we start off with D7, which re rolls, restarts the rooms and respawns all enemies. We had this the other day, uh, I'm pretty sure uh let's see we have rubber cement our tier is 2.46 and our damage is 4.08 we also have cursed penny which we probably want to uh, drop it means that whenever we take a penny we either have a chance or we're guaranteed to just get teleported out of the current room we're in uh the c dvd and sv 9 z i don't remember if i said that um but yeah our damage above average tier 8 below average not the best start to a run i feel like my camera is in a weird spot but it's fine okay let's see i do want to restart rooms kind of like this these are the these are the money maker rooms right here like these right here i need to drop this trinket <laughs> this is so bad it's such a bad trinket like if you want to get teleported to like every like all over the place it's sick if you don't it's not sick and please give us the damage upgrade give us steven not little steven give us the give us the stevenator Please. The Akinator's always been scary. Have you guys ever done Akinator? Oh my gosh. No. Little Steven's fine. It's it's a it's a it's a little guy. He helps us. He's cool. I'm actually gonna drop this trinket. I didn't hold it long enough. I actually really like the haircut. The back of the head, kind of weird. It looks like we're looking down really far. But yeah, pick up coin teleport to Isaac's room. Can teleport to secret rooms, which you know what? That's kind of cool. Going to the secret room for free interesting now if you could toggle when you want to use it or not which you can by just dropping your trinket that'd be awesome but it's not as easy to drop your trinket as you might think because you have to hold down a trigger and like this whole thing and yeah i don't want that so let's do this i'm gonna go back to that one room with the little poops in it and i think the poops are still there if you leave a room that you've resummoned enemies in it would make sense that you'd be able to still fight that room again so we'll see we'll see what happens and they are still here if it gives me another nickel oh my gosh would that be sick and i'm doing this room as many times as it will let me and can i get something good from the item room box of spiders actually quite insane some people not might not realize how crazy box of spiders is it summons four to eight blue spiders that do 2.5 times your damage i believe or two times your damage so like each of these spiders does eight damage it can kill an enemy and we can use it every two rooms. Like, who doesn't want that? Communists. That's who it is. Okay. Um, felt like, like that was a little bit of an aggressive comment I made. No, no shade to the the communists out there. Okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> let's go to the shop. I have ten cents, which is not enough to really do much. We didn't get magic much right there, which is kind of a fat rip. And hopefully things get better. I probably should have saved my bomb. In hindsight, 2020, should have saved it. Yeah, my setup feels weird right now. I need to like adjust my camera. I think I like kicked my camera or something, my tripod. My camera's in a weird spot. What I really need to do is get like a desk mountable uh, tripod. That way I don't ever kick my stuff around and always stays in the same spot. And it's like much nicer and like, doesn't like take up all the space behind my desk that would be that would be cool that'd be really sick actually that's not the case um and i could have used a bomb right there you know what i'm a little bit of a silly goose aren't i what was in the shop all i saw was more options which would have been sick honestly we might still be able to get it this is kind of a crazy concept oh pog I love using the word pog. It's one of my favorites. It's I try to use it as um, indescriptly as possible, just saying it with no emotion behind it, because it just makes me happy in general. It's such a it's such a good like not saying it excited excited at all. That's the way to do it. And I do not have much speed right now. I am not super responsive. And the sun card, I might as well pop it. We did this yesterday. You have a sun card, you might as well just pop it as soon as you get it. Gives you flight, gives you spectral tears, gives you more damage. Like it is just for the like the entire floor. 
we're gonna be stronger and better and awesomer and we have a bone heart that is the one downside but since we have soul hearts it doesn't really matter we're if we lose our bone heart we die so like if we that means we actually have more health technically than we had before Ooh, i almost got hit right there um i am gonna wait to do the boss fight for a second not like i need to or anything but i'm going to i'm gonna go into the curse room because i have flight i am in the safest spot i can be and oh my gosh that was a great time right there i'm just gonna bomb my way out of here i don't actually want to bomb for any magic mushes anymore i want to save my bombs and try to be a upstanding citizen to my country and my people Ooh, and look how many like we just get so many spiders and they're so strong like box of spiders unironically a crazy good item i don't know why i said unironically it just is a crazy good item so Eucromycosis goes crazy. We had this, and Eucromycosis is just always, just always a good item. And like, it makes you look creepy. Our guy looks really horrific right now. Like, in, in the nicest way possible, of course, but it looks really awful. In kind of the worst way possible, actually. Let's go fight the boss. Let's make this quick. You know what? As soon as I'm done with this, I'm, I think I'm skipping the devil deal. Because we've been having too many devil deal items these past runs. We take you, and we just get out of here. We're going next. We don't have enough health to deal with. That would just kill us pretty much. So I take this and now we run with this and go. Now, maybe I do hush today. Maybe I go a little crazy and do some fun stuff. Who even knows? Not me, not anybody. I, I never know what my plan is for a run. Most runs are just the basic runs. It's just because going to like mother, it's such as like a, oh my gosh, you have to plan things out and you have to do the chase sequence. The chase sequence literally takes years off my life. I swear. It is one of the most like, I can do it with like with mostly no issue every single time. I'm just bored out of my mind. Okay, there should be. There's not four of those guys, and bag of crafting is. You know what? I'm sorry, guys. I gotta take bag of crafting. I've not had bag of crafting in a fortnight. So we're gonna go crazy. Bag of crafting is nice just because it means more items. Really, that's like all that we really care about when it comes to it. And the only thing that's bad about bag crafting with a character that's not Tainted Cane is you have no clue what's in the bag. You can, you have to craft, like you have to craft with whatever's in the bag. You can never switch things out. And I did not realize there was a little slugma coming at me. And you just got got slugma nuts. Okay, um, stop jumping at me. I need speed. Honestly, if I, whenever I have below like one speed, it actually just makes my whole body sad. Okay, good we get you out first and I, what i really need is just some materials to use now the thing that you have to know about bag of crafting is different items have have different um have different like values in the eyes of bag of crafting so like a red heart has like a, a value of like one or something a soul heart has like a value of like three eternal hearts have like a value of like five so do like black hearts and so depending on the crafting value you can get better items from what i understand now i think there are some like there's some weirdness to it like if you use a, a black heart you'll get devil deal items or you'll have the more devil deal items that you can make with like the different crafting recipes if you have eternal heart you can make angel deal items but like it doesn't mean that you're going to get an angel deal item with random crafts it means that you have now opened up the possibility of getting them so it's very interesting we'll see how it goes um i do want to find the secret room i think it's in this mirror room I don't know. I'm going to go to the shop. And Mama Mega is not bad. I'm not going to get rid of the item I have for Mama Mega. And more money is cool. I could have used that money to, like, you know, make an item. But I don't think it would make a good item. So I don't want it. I'll take you. I know. No, actually, this is actually a good idea. Safety blanket is really nice. I will go do the boss fight again. I'm also going to go to the white fire. And I'm just going to see what I can get. I also do want to go to the curse room. I've not been there yet. Curse rooms are usually good. Especially whenever you don't take damage in them. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your consideration. Curse rooms have been rough sometimes. Needs at least eight to show crafting recipe. Did they change that? Oh, two of eight items available. So that's that there has to be eight items that can craft to show us the crafting recipes. I understand what it's saying now. Oh my gosh, there's a little guy. I don't know why. I cannot see these little stupid slugs on the ground. I know they're like leeches, not slugs technically. But listen, let me let me dream. 
I'm gonna wait to pick up the knife piece just in case I get some sort of rune that can like reroll stuff. If I can get a reroll of any type, I am rerolling the knife piece. This is not a mother run type day. This is a good old, a good old run. Also, any half hearts always pick them up with bag of crafting because they turn into whole hearts, and so they're more they're more use useful. Especially soul hearts are just really good. And we only okay. Wait, do we have to have four items in the bag for bag? I they must have changed that. So you used to be able to see like everything that you could craft and i'll use the pill perks okay that's actually pretty good this is what we do we just stand up here and we play the good way this is how you should play lost is you should just hide on top of stuff but sometimes that's overrated i'm gonna take you i'm gonna pick up both these bombs we'll see how this goes yeah bag of crafting is just a little bit funky uh, when it comes to uh, a non-tainted cane character. It's just, it's just really weird. And of course, we'll fight you. And I'm going to blow that up after. One of the big things you want to make sure you do is... If you're not a flying character... You want to make sure that you... Destroy the flies and all like the poop that can hurt you on the ground. Because if you get hurt by the poop... Or if, you, if it spins around like crazy... I spit a bunch. If, you, if it spins around like crazy... Um, then you can get hit by like the flies and like the little turds. But if you're a flying character and it's like this room, I can just hide in this corner and not get hit. I'm more than fine. I'll take you. A tear rate up is awesome. More health is awesome. Overall, this is all awesome. And I think I do want to full clear real quick. I know I said I'm gonna try to go quick, but we're trying to do bag of crafting now, which bag of crafting adds minus 15,000 speed to our run. So it's gonna take a second. It's gonna be fine. And I will go pick up the knife piece. I could do mother today, probably. It's not a crazy run so far. It is just a very, like, solid run, I would say. Like, we'll be fine. But who knows what's going to happen. I do just want to get out of this floor. I already bought everything I need to buy. I need two more items and bag of crafting. We'll see what happens here. I'm, just, I'm not going that way. I'm, I'd rather just get my second option on a regular floor. And go to, like, mausoleum. Now, I do have to go to mines if I want to do mother. That is a valid point I made to myself in my mind. I'm opening these because they can drop me good stuff. And okay, so there has to be eight items on there. Okay, there has to be eight items on the ground. I already used the lucky penny. One, one sec. Is there still a lucky penny somewhere? No, there is a lucky penny right there. So I kind of want sack head. That's actually a really good item. Okay. Now, another thing you want to do with bag of crafting is leave everything on the floor. At all times, leave everything on the floor. Unless it's like a curse room, then might as well pick up the stuff in the curse room. But if you leave everything on the floor, you'll see all the crafting recipes and you'll be able to like do your crafts. Now, it, you do have to have eight items on the floor. I forgot what that meant. You have to have eight items available for you to pick up. So it can tell you, oh, you can make this stuff if you have, like you, this is the stuff available, you can make it. And that was some unfortunate damage. And I'm leaving that on the ground. We can make Celtic Cross, a really good item. That we that would be nice to have. Now not, using the lucky penny to make a uh, sack head, I would usually not use my lucky penny to, for crafting. Except in that instance, any sort of sack that I get will give me it will be super super valuable. Because guess what? That is more every time I get a sack, that is like two or three items I can add to my bag of crafting that I can use and prosper. Like right here. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. So I need three bombs, one key. So that's one, two. Three bombs. I need three coins. I need two more coins. This is going to take a second. I need two more coins. I'm actually just going to do this. I need a card, which is over here. A card, a coin. Oh, a card, a coin, and a bomb. <laughs> nice. Okay. So this is the way. This is how we do this. And what you can do is you can actually open up sacks with bag of crafting. It's kind of a weird thing, but it's really nice because it means that you don't have to like go over gaps. You can pick stuff up over gaps so you don't have to like, you don't have to worry about anything. You can like get stuff that you usually can't get to. And it's nice. Okay. Um, geez. Oh my gosh. That actually gave me a panic attack. Oh my gosh. And if I hold this button and A and Y, I can scroll up and down okay 
So right now, no, there's nothing that I want to craft in the available crafting recipes. So guess what? I am not going to craft anything. Now, the secret room could be very good. Trinkets don't matter. And this is interesting. The reason why this is interesting is because if I craft an active item, then that could be very good. Uh, so I think I want to craft red candle. So I need three bombs and two, three bombs, three bombs, three coins. I need what? One more bomb. I don't even remember. This is going to be a little bit hard to do. So I, I have, I have three bombs now. I should have just picked up this whole stack right here. Wait a sec. Was I not supposed to get three bombs? I was right. Yeah. I need a key and a coin. And last thing I need is this coin. What do I need now? I need another coin. Okay. And I'm not going to hush anymore. That is, that is just a straight up fact of the matter. What I need to do now is I need to go craft the candle in this room. Also, that's weird. Now, whenever I press this button, it slows me down. I don't like this. I craft this and it drops in this room. Now the question is, can I get anything else on this floor? I'm not going to reroll yet because I want to have as much money as I possibly can. I just want to play this as smart as possible. I also just need money and damage is something I don't want to take. That was like the highest rate tier I've ever seen. That was rough. And you guys, I've these guys are not enemies you normally see just like on the floor in a room. Okay, good. Okay, that's rough. That was a champion enemy, so I think it did more damage to me. And that's a coin. Now, the more damage we take, the more tier rate we get. So, like, the more likely we are to win a floor. But we don't want to take damage. No matter what, da taking damage is bad. No matter who we are. And I do... Oh, my gosh. The goal here... Ooh, that's actually... We have some crazy stuff on the floor now. Okay, this is actually really good. I do want to make Black Candle. Now, Black Candle requires a Bone Heart. I think this counts as a... I don't know what that counts as, actually. It requires two coins. I'm actually going to go back to this room all the way down here. It requires two coins, a bone heart, a small battery. I just love Black Candle. Now, I could make an active item, which would be very helpful, but we are fine for right now. We need to use you. You. We need one more bomb, which is over here. Oh, we need one more bomb. Oof. How the turns have table. Now, is there a bomb somewhere else on the solar earth? There must be, right? I need one more coin. I need one more coin still. Okay, this is interesting. We'll see if we can make it. I just don't remember how the half red heart, half solar hearts work. I think they give you one of each. So I'll have to see. And let me see what these are real quick. None of these... Uh, there is Best Friend, which is an active item, which I don't want to use. Um, I am just going to pop both these pills because I need whatever I can get right now. I g keep on getting slowed down. It's so annoying. And do I want you? Not really. I might as well go fight the boss real quick. My health isn't looking too hot, but it's going to be it's gonna, it's gonna be good. I promise. I don't need any keys for this. We're fine. I actually need a bomb on the ground. A bomb on the ground is... The key in the mind. That is my saying. Okay. Oh, Mikur Mycosis is actually so good against bosses like this because you don't actually have to hit them in a good spot. Okay. This is not the best. Actually, this is really good. Okay. This actually gives us a bomb that we needed. And what am I trying to do? Black Candle. I wish it would just like go back to Black Candle. Did I ruin Black Candle? Wait, what? I can't make Black Candle anymore. It says, okay, if I walk into this room, it says I can, we'll say I can make Black Candle, right? I'm so confused. So what do I have? I, I'm so confused. Okay, Black Candle's back in the picture. Why? I don't know. I need one more coin. One more coin and a soul heart. Yeah, one more coin and a soul heart. So one more coin and a soul heart. That's crazy. That's so stupid. 
I don't understand why it works like that. Now, here's the good news is I can make a bunch of devil deal items now. Now, Lacrophagy does seem like the craziest item that I can make right this second. So I do want to make that. It's four red hearts. Four red hearts, one key. I need another red heart. Wait. Oh my gosh. It's so weird. Sometimes it's like, oh, you can no longer craft an item. It's like whenever I was in this room, I could craft the item. It's whenever I came over here, right? I don't know what's happening. Okay, I'm going to keep full clearing. I do need to... I need to actually pick up some keys. Now that I, now that I really look at this, I am low on keys. Okay, Lacrophage is back in the picture. I need bombs. I need three bombs. And of course we take you. 120 volts insane. Also just love Lacrophage. So we do... Okay, we have the bombs. I don't know. I'm so, I'm so confused. Three bombs, please. One. I need one more bomb. Do I have one? I don't think I have one more bomb. I keep forgetting I need to pick up the double bomb first. Because if I pick up those other two items, it's going to make it so I don't pick get the right thing. That's unfortunate. Uh, Lucky Penny would get me x-ray goggles, which isn't bad. But I do want to luck up. Because luck up means better drops on the ground. I will also take you. Man, I did mess this up a little bit. Now, I do need money in general. I might as well use them. I'm, I think I'm going to go to the dice room. I know this is a weird option. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to the dice room. Because you don't know what can be in here. We get our bomb that we actually needed. This is a D100. Look at that. We get lacquer phagey. Now, ooh. So, one red heart. Two red hearts, a key, two bombs, a pill, a black heart. What are you? Okay, all I want is is evil or not evil eye, is inner eye. So I need a card still. Now the card there was a card in that last room I was in. I realize there's a card somewhere else, as well i just want to grab the black heart real quick okay, is this the pill that i need i do need a pill and i need keys there are apparently enough keys i don't have any keys personally but look at this okay we are crafting we are crafting the ultimate build right now and we only have three keys now this is a or three coins which is a small issue i'm gonna be honest not ideal but that's interesting that is indeed interesting and you know what frick it no thank you <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that <laughs> thank you <laughs> nothing i don't want that i'm good okay and this is going to be the longest run in the history of runs i know it's going to be pretty painful <laughs> thank you and you know what we're gonna go crazy we're grabbing the card and we're just gonna g run with it and there is an item in that room that we don't care about now you might be wondering why i'm not taking this item up here i realized i kind of just looked at it and said no to it this item right here is called missing no it's an item that you don't see almost ever in this game but what happens is it rerolls all of isaac's items and stats on pickup at every new floor which means you could have a crazy build one floor then you go to like the chest and you're about to fight Mega Satan and you have the worst build in the entire universe, which non-optimal, let me tell you. Uh, now I am going to blow this up. I think I'm just going to go to mines because maybe I do want to go to mother. And I actually, I, our setup is actually pretty crazy right now. Lacquer Feiji with triple shot is awesome. And I've never actually used bag of crafting as like as safely as I have right now. I usually just kind of go crazy. I, I kind of am the person who prefers to like just pick up items as I get them. But if you wait, you will be happier in the end. Okay. And so hearts are good. Keys are good. I am just leaving everything on the floor because I want to I'd rather pick it up later. Because you don't know what it's gonna lead to. Nice. Now right now we can't actually make anything. 
as soon as we get one more item, it will allow us to make something. And let me do this real quick. Open this chest, please. Thank you. And die, please. Okay. So we have Black Candle once again. We also have Pyromaniac, which requires two lucky pennies, which we have right here. So I'm going to take that. It requires two bombs. So we only have one. It requires three coins. I need to come back here. We need one more bomb and one more coin. One more bomb and one more coin. We get Pyromaniac, which is a very good item. It allows us to bomb ourselves and not take damage or and to actually heal ourselves. It's a very, very strong thing to get. I will actually pick up the red heart health so I don't lose my bone heart. It's just the smarter thing to do in this situation, I believe. And like Pyromaniac isn't the best possible thing we could get right there. Uh like it's not like it's not helping us too much right the second, but now it allows us to just have the protection of if we get Ipecac later or find something that is like super explosive and dangerous, we will not take damage if we hit ourselves with it. We cannot take self damage from the scary stuff. And oh my gosh, Lacrophagy with rubber cement is so much fun. I don't think I've ever had this before. Or like Lacrophagy and rubber cement. I I've had similar stuff to this. Oh my lord. Oh my lanta. That's one of the best things. Oh my lanta. I don't really understand it too much, but I like it. We'll come in here. I think we we'll take the mystery item. And that's actually not bad. Okay, so shorter range might sound like a really bad thing, but shorter range with lacrophagy means our tiers won't go as far, so they'll actually hit each other sooner, which means that we can actually like get like our crazy tiers that like bounce all over the place quicker. Which is nice. Very good actually. And King Baby's not the worst. Actually, like King Baby. Um, you're not bad. When did I did I just not? I didn't pick up the trinket at the end of the last floor, did I? I didn't want to. Picking up something like Matchstick is not your best. I like that's not the best idea because it means you're gonna get more bombs, which we don't necessarily want more bombs right now. And I'm gonna get Maggie's bow. Maggie's bow is crazy for us. So we get a bomb. We get a key we come up here we need to get a another bomb we need to get another key i know we have like we have no actual consumables that we can use i'm kind of like pseudo screwing myself over right here but we'll be fine so we take you we do this and maggie's bow requires a coin where am i going a coin and a key right no a coin and a heart i almost pick up the wrong thing there that would have been rough Maggie's bow is really good. Um, the reason why is because Maggie's bow gives you a plus one health up, heals one red heart, and all red hearts heal double their value in the future, which is pretty good. Um, now, I did kind of just realize I could have crafted any item in the secret room to make item pedestals, and so I should have just like, ma like mass crafted, but it still worked out in the end. And you know what? I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to do this. Not right now. I apparently did not hit one of the buttons. I'm gonna go fight the boss real quick and then do that at some point. But so far, this run's going well. I think it's going really well. We have Bloody Gust, great item. We have um, Mucromycosis, which was, we just randomly picked up. We have our P tiers, which I don't really like number one. Number one is usually a bad item, but in this situation, I actually kind of like it. And we do so much damage right now. It is actually ridiculous. We'll take Stapler, I mean, because we're not gonna pass it up. Of course we'll take Godhead. Oh my goodness. I've not seen Godhead in a second. And Godhead with any sort of booger tier is one of the best things in the entire game. Like, not even not even pranking you. And I just lose my bone heart here. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to check it. Just make sure there's nothing in there. I'm going to go back and do the chase sequence. And my health is not looking super good. But here's the good news. Also, I should just bomb myself right there to heal my heart with Pyromaniac. But I don't really care about bone heart health. I'm not going for devil deals. Jeez, we are so unbelievably strong now. Godhead is insane. I've not seen Godhead in so long. We got it the other day. I'm pretty sure. I remember just seeing it in my... I don't know if I had a dream. This is... I don't know. I remember seeing Godhead in my inventory. The other day did i like re-roll or something the other day i don't remember I, I feel like i remember seeing godhead in my inventory but i think that was a dream i'm so confused sometimes i dream about isaac it's it's 
Not a good thing. I have weird dreams. Sometimes they're like really, I don't know. Like last night I had a dream that like my best friend randomly showed up to get tutored at the mathnasium, which is weird because my friend is a college graduate and <laughs> why would he ever go to the, the mathnasium to get tutored? He wouldn't. Spoiler alert. So yeah, it's, it's interesting dreams. Your own skirt. We're speed running this. Please stop chasing me. Nice. We're going to do what we like to call the doorway iframe skip. Ooh, we got money. That's actually not bad. Come here. Now, this is a weird floor. You have to grab another bomb right here and throw it down all the way, which is not the easiest thing to do sometimes. You have to come up here, grab the stupid bomb, and then do this whole loop-de-loop -loop strat, and go back up here. This whole thing is about going slow and just making sure that you're never, like, standing in the path of, of mo the mom's shadow or whatever it is. It's pretty easy not to be in her path. You just move, like, slightly out of the way. Like, I'll stand all the way to the right, just move to the left a little bit, and I can dodge her. Then, like, right here, I'll stand all the way to the left. As soon as she goes to chase, I'll move to slightly to the right. You don't even have to move that far. It's actually, like... Pretty minimal movements that you have to do. Thank you. I'm not going to go to the shop. Shops are not going to be super helpful to me, I feel like, uh, for this run. Just because shops can't really do much. And I'm going to go look for the secret room real quick. That was probably a not good search. Thank you. And this is not terrible. Now, I'm just going to pick all this up. I don't think there's any reason for me to not pick it up. Now, there are soul hearts now, which I will immediately activate on the next floor uh to see just to have them so i know what my crafting recipes are and soul hearts are weird soul hearts allow you to craft um slightly better items but they don't ever have like a specific pool associated with them bone hearts allow you to craft secret room items it's all like it's all pretty interesting now i do want to open this so i might as well and i might as well just grab this stuff real quick i do need okay you know what that's i'm leaving that on there we have so many soul hearts it used to be that if you had a bunch of soul hearts, you could craft alabaster box and get like even more soul hearts. And there was like this whole thing where you could like just break the game with alabaster box. And oh my gosh, we are so strong. Now, uh, does Godhead gives you homing, right? Yeah, Godhead does give you homing, which is crazy. With, with this setup that we have, it is absolutely wild. Now we just need to move you guys out of the way. Um, more options for boss fight items is very useless for us and i am crafting um soul of or eden's eden's blessing oh my gosh did i just pick up the coin that required ah crap this should get me another coin or a butt penny okay there we go i need three coins okay i see so i need to go get some coins i need to use my soul arts i'm using a lot of soul arts for this thing three soul arts in in a single recipe is a little bit rough but here's the thing. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. That means I get to start the next run with an extra item, which who doesn't want to do that? You know what I'm saying? This is just too good to pass up. I need one more item, which is a soul heart. And we'll still have two soul hearts on the floor, which means we can still craft really good items. And look at that. Tears up. Plus, next run, we start with an extra item. I could just keep crafting those over and over and see what I get. And it'd be amazing. Now, I am going to go down here. I think what I want to do is see if there's a blood donation machine. If there is, I want to go crazy and use it a bunch of times. Also, I will go look for the secret room. Thank you. Which is a soul heart and a red heart. And it's booger tears. Now, booger tears with mucromycosis, I don't know how good it is. I'm going to be honest. It, this might be actual garbage, but I want it. Now, what I'm going to do is actually drop a bomb and leave the room. Come back in. Come right here. Grab you. And yeah, you, you might have been like, you can't grab that. I can grab it. It's it's slight. It was almost out of reach. I'm still fine. And do we have a, we already have a soul heart in here. Okay, now we need a two keys, which we have in here. Two keys. This coin. Oh yeah, Booger Tears. Now Booger Tears and Muker Mycosis, I believe both have their own separate like chance. It actually means that like we'll have a lot of Booger Tears and Booger Tears with uh, Godhead are insane. Booger tears are really good. Also, um, nickels are another really good item for us to get. They're very high value in, in the eyes of the bag of crafting, which means that you can get better quality items. 
now one thing they did do is like they changed that's insane they changed up like all of like the crap like the the bad crafting recipes at one point they were all set in stone but then they were like you know what that doesn't make any sense let's not have them like a certain one and make them depend on the seed so sometimes you'll have it to where if you have four like eight red hearts like eight red hearts i think is always the same item but it, like for example you have eight red hearts and you get like brimstone and sometimes you have eight red hearts and you get like uh, nothing at all and it's pretty bad i'm just gonna take the middle item kidney stone's actually really really co good here because in any fight like look at this crazy amounts of tears and what can i craft here stigmata is not bad i don't really care about any of these as is i can't pick up any of those no matter what because i don't have any battery operated items now cards are sick it's good just to see everything that you can craft uh swarm's not bad i do like swarm a lot dog food not don't want that king baby don't want to care about that loki's horns it's very interesting i could use that bombs don't care I think what I'm gonna do is actually just fight the boss real quick because we are only on mausoleum one. I don't know what I just killed, but like, look at this right here. It's an instant kill. The game can't affect me like right there. Okay, uh, and have we full cleared already? I, also, it's so confusing that if I hit the, like the, the left button, it actually stops all my movement. I feel like it didn't used to do that. So did we already do this? We did, it's a bunch of pills. And I don't know. I feel like I feel like our best bet. I don't know what our best bet is. Uh, I'm gonna blow this up. I just want as many things on the ground as I can have. And keeper stack is actually really good um, for just regular stats. More options doesn't stack. Alabaster box is always good if you have enough soul hearts, but we don't really have enough soul hearts right the second. Um, BFF isn't bad. Box of friends isn't bad. Uh, Epiphora is not terrible. Jesus Juice, Larynx. Monster's Lung kind of fun. I don't want it though. I feel like that's not good. Uh, Quince is not terrible. Bandage. I don't want like, half of this stuff. Actually, technology wouldn't be terrible. I mean, it would kind of get rid of Godhead, which we don't want. I know there's a lot of items I can get right here. I do just want to like go through and like see if there's anything good, which does take time. I know it like takes like 40,000 years. Pop would be interesting with uh, lacquer faging what we have. I don't care about too much. Okay, I don't care. Don't care. I think I I think what I'm gonna do is actually pick up a lot of the health right here and a lot of the items and just go to the next floor. I know that's kind of like almost a waste, but money is good. Money is very good. Also, do we still have Keeper Sack? No, we do not because I picked up the Soul Heart, which is fine. It's not like a huge deal. I do want to pick up the key. I do want to pick up this key as well. I think I'm actually going to go into the shop real quick, which is not a bad time. This is actually good. And Steam Sale, sick. We, we can go to the shop in the future and get some good stuff. And ooh, wait a sec. Play-Doh Cookie Dough is quite cheap to make and it requires four cards. Four cards. What are you? Uh, you're. We have a card in our hand right now. What are you? Magician, I don't care about you. What card are you? Hierophant. Okay, that's a little bit rough. We actually do like Hierophants a lot. I don't know if it's worth Play-Doh Cookie Dough. You know what? I'm just going to pop it right now. Do we have anything good on the ground? We have membership card. Money in a box. Eyesore. Sorry, game. And the thing is, I could still make Play-Doh Cookie Dough in the future. Jeez. I don't remember exactly what it required, but I want to go back and pick up everything I can. There's the coin right there. There is the pills in this room. Have I used this pill? Health up is great. Puberty is not bad. And is there actually a sack in this room over here? I know this is like the longest run in the history of runs. Listen, I'm going to get everything I possibly can just to make sure that this run goes as, as smoothly as possible because I can still lose this run. I also am probably going to go to mother. And if I go to mother, it means the run is usually just a little bit shorter than than a usual run because you actually like go like way less floors. 
You know what? I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna pick both of these up in the bag. Now, these might be terrible items to have in the bag because guess what? We can only add two more items. And those two more items are gonna dictate what we're gonna get. But it could be fun. It could be, we could get a really good item that's really, that is quite enjoyable. We'll just see what we get over here. I'm not gonna pick up the battery. The small batteries are actually like very worthless. They don't like, they don't have a bu bunch of uh, like value to them. So I don't, they're not something you wanna stuff in your bag. Curse of the Blind means we'll still be able to do what we're crafting, right? I don't know how any of this works. And like, look how crazy this is. Like, it's just so much damage. Having Booger Tears and Mucor Mycosis, so we just have all the damage. Now, I don't, I think they do stack chances. Not like stack, but like they're two separate chances. And Book of Blyle's not terrible. It's something I could craft if I had like a, a reroll machine somewhere, which would actually be quite nice. I could do uh, Brimstone. What are you? More options is not something I want. I don't want Azazel's Stump. Azazel's Stump is quite bad. Is there a chest right here? Good. Nice. And Sackhead was just, an, it's, it's always going to be an amazing item to grab. It's always worthwhile. And I think we take the right item. And that's actually not bad. More damage is not terrible because guess what? Now we can get into secret rooms without having to use bombs. And I can actually destroy all the stuff on the floor. It's great. And pills are not bad either. Uh, now we do have like, I don't, sometimes the crafting is really weird. Like it's not like showing all the crafting that's available to us. Old RB. This hold RB to refresh. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, so now we need to go down. We have Bloody Guts. We have Continuum, which is pretty fun. I don't think I actually want Continuum since we don't have much range. PhD's not bad. Serpent's Kiss. Ludovico. Um, some people, I think that this is a little cheaty to have all the recipes on the side. There's always like a website that you can use that will literally tell you what you can craft. Uh, so it's not like the most insanely like cheaty thing ever. It's a little bit funky, but it is what it is. We're just trying to have a good run. Ooh, and Eternal Heart is actually really good. Eternal Hearts get us into the realm of Angel Deal items. Now, the question is, what Angel Deal item can we make? Now, I don't know what order these are in, but they're not in any specific order. Now, we're looking for Sacred Heart or something. Like, we're looking for big damage. And anything? Nope, nothing yet. Okay, so we see chaos. Chaos isn't terrible. Quad shot. Okay, quad shot. I think is what we want here. Quad shot requires three bombs. Yeah, I want quad shot. It requires three bombs. Okay, well, it requires three bombs. <laughs> Continue on. I'm glad that didn't mess everything up. Two keys. Where's my second key? Two keys. Um, we need. We have the bombs. We need the battery, which I didn't realize the battery was in this room over. Here. Wait, we don't need the battery. Wait, what? Three. Okay, three bombs. I'm so confused. The, the crafting recipe keeps changing a little bit. This is not conducive to my run. We need to go to the secret room, which was over here, I believe. Oh, we only need pills. So confused. Wait, what? Okay, you know what? I need to reset this. This is like glitching out like crazy. Do I no longer have quad shot? I should still have quad shot, right? Also, what are you? Two of clubs. Not bad, actually. We come in here. Ooh, I'm gonna pick up you. Pick up you. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize we could get this bad of items. The sun card's not terrible. I do want a soul heart. Two of clubs is just probably the best thing we can get right here. Now where's quad shot? I should still be able to make quad shot. 
Okay, that's not what I meant to do. I'm trying to reset the bag of crafting. I don't know. This is stupid. Now, maybe if I exit and continue, it will fix itself. I don't know. It, right now, it's like it doesn't show that I have anything in the bag, which is the issue. So I don't know what this is. Okay, this is fine. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Ooh, Scorpio wouldn't be bad. I might just have to craft something random. Because what do I have right now? I think I need bombs. I think bombs are actually what I need to fill out this recipe. So what I'm going to do is try to get some bombs. If I get bombs, maybe, just maybe, let me do this. And it says, hold this plus... Can we reset, please? I, I, I want to be able to see what I can craft, you know? That'd be quite nice. Okay, where are the bombs? I'm also just picking stuff up now, I think. There's so much stuff on the ground. Okay, please have bombs. No bombs? No problems. Okay, I'm gonna take you. Should I just? I might. I think I'm just gonna grab some keys and just grab or grab some coins and just craft some stuff. I I I, I can't do anything right this second. Actually, glyph of balance is not bad. But now what I need to do is hold this, hold right button. Okay, now it's reset. I think the issue was I reset it before. Now I can see what I want to craft. I really wanted a quad shot. Can't craft quad shot anymore. Guppy's eye is not bad. The whole thing was stupid. So don't reset it whenever you have stuff in the bag because you can't ever really reset it. Okay. What do we have? Ice Key Baby. Duality is not terrible. It allows us to make sure we get angel angel deals. I know. This is taking forever. But I want to see what we can get. I'm trying to maximize my run. And we'll see, I'm going to go around a little bit more i want to blow up like a machine or something so if there's nothing i actually want if there's nothing i actually want then i'll probably just just go to the next floor okay interesting that is iv bag i'm gonna come over here okay so now we have bag of crafting again we have nothing in here Infestation would be great. We need a... Wait, do we have a 10 cent piece? Actually, I kind of want Parasitoid. Do I have Infestation or Parasitoid? I think Infestation's better. Where's the Black Heart? The Black Heart's down here. I'm going to get an Infestation. That is the way. So, Infestation. Four keys, which is a crazy amount of keys. So, we have two or one key so far. Two keys. I have no clue where the 10 cents is. Is it in here? Ooh, there we go. Uh, what am I trying to make? Infestation. Okay, you know what? I'll pick you up. Pick you up. I don't think there's 10 cents on the floor. That's what I'm, I think that's what the game was confused about. Well, that's kind of stupid. Uh, I might as well make duality real quick. If I want to make duality. I don't know if I even want to make duality. The game is really rubbing me sideways. You know what? I'm just going to go next floor. I don't need duality. I'll see what I can craft later. I just don't want to like waste any of the stuff that I have currently. And this is our last floor for money, so I might as well go back to the shop in a second. Wait a sec, now we have more stuff that we can craft. What's this about? So I need one pill in the world. Might as well craft this. Okay, good. Take you. We'll go. We have bloody gust, bloody lust. Any damage you take is actually good for us. 
That was that was some bars right there, actually. I'm gonna pick you up and I'm going to run. We are done. Oh, bars? Speed down. Range up. Range up? Not bad. Not something we necessarily want. We'll take it. I'll get out of here. Uh, we'll definitely take the negative since we need damage. I forgot we can just destroy you with this. Okay, now we have a lot of good health. We have to go fight the heart. And we are guaranteed to get a deal on this next floor. That should be good. And we have, we have a crazy amount of damage right now. Like, we are very, very set right this second. We are looking quite fine. I'm not really concerned whatso whatsoever. I am going to keep... Nice. Actually, really good for us. Mainly because it's a speed up, and I actually like speed ups a lot. And we will go crazy right here. We haven't destroyed a single rock yet. It's a little wild. Nice. And we are just... Same thing, leaving everything we can on the floor because we do not want to pick up a single thing. We want to make sure we can craft any, like, anything we want. Now, Mom's Eye would actually be kind of sick. I might actually craft that since I can. Okay, so we actually do have a 10 cent piece. I'm okay, you know what? I'm going to leave that on the ground. Mom's Eye is no longer the, the item of interest. Literally anything else kind of is the item of interest. We don't care about you. I don't know what order it shows up in. That's what really confuses me. Uh, now, I don't know what the pill... Like, I can no longer actually see what like the pills do that are on the ground. It's either one or the other. Now, if you guys don't know why I can see what I can craft, it is external item description mod. That's all it is. It's not like anything extra. I don't have any extra mods that allow me to see what the bag of crafting does. And that's pretty cool. The main thing is I'm trying to see, like, is there, like, some crazy stuff deep in here that's just not showing me? Because if I could get, like, rock bottom, for, for, for example, that'd be awesome. Now, I don't have any bone hearts, so we're not going to get any sort of... Ooh, this is actually really good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wait a sec. Okay, so there is a lucky penny somewhere. Where did it... Where is it? Okay, I see the lucky penny. I think I want... Oh, wait, I want Ipecac. I want Ipecac so bad. Okay, Ipecac is a lucky penny. So, a lucky penny, a nickel, a dime, where's the dime, is up here, right, wasn't the dime here, where was the dime, oh, the dime was in this room over here, I know we have D6 as well, D6 is really good, but a dime, a bomb, a pill, we don't need any coins, so this is what I do. I try to get as far back as I can from the item. That way I only pick up what I need. We pick up you. This is what sucks. Is if, we, if we mess up, we can't fix it. So we need a gold bomb, a regular bomb. So the gold bomb is here. We need a gold bomb. We need a key. We need two more items. We need a regular bomb and a key. Oh, and we have birthright. Okay, I don't really care about birthright. It's a random item. But where's the bomb is my question. Where did we see that? Guys, I know this is taking forever, but this is going to be worthwhile. Now, is this going to be like the world's biggest game break ever? Not in the slightest. Also, where is the bomb? I will find a bomb at some point. It will happen. Now, is it like you have a bomb in your inventory, therefore you can craft this? Because if that's what it's thinking, that is not correct. Okay, we'll go in here. Anything good? Another coin. I want Ipecac. Wait a sec. Oh, yeah, there's not a bomb on the floor. Sometimes it messes up. Now, as long as I get a bomb, then we can get Ipecac. Dang, Tech X is interesting. Now, I don't think Tech X works with what we have right now. Okay, please give me a bomb. If I don't get a bomb, I'm actually going to rage a little bit. I was promised, actually promised, that I was going to get Ipecac right here. And no bombs were... Actually, did I pick up the bomb? Is that what happened? That's probably what happened. Yeah, there's probably a bomb at some point. Okay. Fine. I would be love to be able to find the secret room a lot easier. Okay, good. 
No bomb. Oh my gosh. If this game doesn't give me a bomb on this floor, I'm going to get quite irate. Please give me a bomb. That's not what I wanted. So this is what we have to do now. There is a... That is a bomb. Okay. Where is the secret I'm going to be? I'm going to pay you out, I guess. That's actually not bad. Now, it does... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It does know that I have seven. Now I'm gonna pick up the coins and I think I'm gonna pay this guy out. I don't actually, there's no reason to pay this guy. Out. I'm gonna blow him up. I, don't, I probably shouldn't even have blown him up. I'm gonna see if this is the secret room. No, I have no more bombs. I'm just throwing. I don't know what, I don't know. I, I'm so confused. I could just wait for a bomb on the next floor, but that's like such a long time to wait to get any item. Okay, there we go. Whoa, that was... That shot just randomly happened right as I killed him, which is unfortunate. And Sigil of Baphomet, craziest item ever. And please give me my angel deal. Thank you. We'll take you. Gives us a bone heart, which is not bad. And... Okay, so right now we can't really craft anything too crazy. I do need you. We have both key pieces. We don't actually have both key pieces. It's kind of crazy. I don't have a bomb. You know what? That's fine. I don't need a bomb. Um, I'm just going to pick everything up at this point, I guess. Um, is this thing I literally can't craft anything with what's on the floor? <laughs> That's a crazy concept. I know I can craft something with what's on the floor. Okay, good. I don't need money. I don't know why I'm picking that up exactly, but I'm just getting anything I can. Now, no bombs is a little bit wild. You know, I'm actually going to use this real quick. I don't know why I didn't just use this before. It allows me to fly. I mean, that was actually really good. I can still make... Tech X if I wanted to. I don't want Tech X though. I feel like Tech X doesn't help me here. And there's the bomb I was looking for. And this should be Ipecac. This is Ipecac. Nice. Okay, sweet. And then there we go. Now this is what we were looking for. We are now exactly where we want to be. That's nice. Now, I already started picking up a bunch of stuff, so our options are very limited on this floor. But maybe... Loki's Horns isn't bad. Pop isn't bad. Isaac's Heart is kind of bad, I'm going to be honest. But we need a pill, three hearts, and three coins. A pill, three hearts... Oh, wait a sec. We need a black... Ooh, a black heart? Okay, this is, this, is the, this is the run. Black heart. Black heart, two coins, red heart. We need one of these special pennies we need two pills which the pills are up here we need two pills so one two and we need our last red heart and we can craft you okay sick awesome we love it and like look at this we just do a lot of damage now do I want anything else here I feel like Seven coins and a key is not too hard to get. So I'll try doing that. We need a single key. Now, what are you? Seven coins. I did I just pick that up with my, my bare feet? Seven coins and a key. I need three more coins, I guess. Oh, I can go get the coins real fast. No problemo, actually. Okay, come in here. Well, I'm picking you up, which is a shame. Nice. And this just gets me Roid Rage. Actually, just a very standardly good item. Now I'm just going to go to the next floor. I know. We are taking absolutely ages to do anything right here. But guys, this is the way. This is how you win. 
win big actually. Now, Ipecac, I know, having Ipecac and having Pyromaniac is pretty cool, but not the craziest thing ever. This could be crazier, but I'm having a good time. You know what? I'm having a great time. Now, I want to see how good this is, like, in an actual room of enemies. Nice. And it's just, Rotten Hearts are the least valuable item in the entire game. Uh, they are very, very, they're weighted extremely low. Jeez. And we do heal just so much health. I don't know why I wasn't just donating a bunch of health on the last floor. It was literally free. And Loki's horns might actually be a pretty decent idea. The more red heart health I can have, the better. If I actually have all red heart health, we just pretty much win. Do I have a really low... I do have a really low tier rate. Now, soy milk would be pretty cool right here. If I could find the stuff to make soy milk. That'd be wild. Now, the chance of me finding the stuff to make soy milk, not super good. That's fine. And this is just full clear time. Now, am I going to do much with this this build? Probably not. I, I would like to be able to make, like, Arky or something, but Arky usually requires, like, a bunch of bone hearts. Lots of the better, uh, like, secret room items require a dumb amount of bone hearts, which is very weird. It's kind of a cool, cool room. I forgot I could just blow everything up if I really wanted to. Oh my gosh, it's not exactly what I wanted to do. And this, when the floors keep on going, it always confuses me. I'm just gonna pop you real quick. Ooh, that's really good. Wait a sec, wait a sec, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Go, 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 go. Okay, so, slow removing tears wouldn't be bad. Synth oil's not terrible, because that's more damage. Um, Guppy's tail's not terrible, but I don't have any guppy items. Monster's Lung, not terrible, but I don't want it. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for soy milk. Soy milk is like, if I got soy milk, I feel like this would be the craziest thing ever. Because soy milk's really good with uh, God, or, uh, Godhead, because Godhead is a flat damage boost to all tiers. So the more tiers you have, the stronger you are. They're just actually good. Just very solid, actually. <laughs> We're getting so many yuck hearts can't be mad about honestly but i have to uh i gotta get cricket's body okay so what do i need i need three keys i need the golden bomb uh i need more key i have all the keys i need oh there's also jello oh soy milk wait a sec one okay i need three bombs okay 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 why did soy milk just pop up out of nowhere? That's crazy. Soy milk requires one. Okay, here's my last bomb I need. I actually need a, a a penny, please. Oh my gosh, this is about to be crazy. Okay, let me in. Ooh. Okay, now we're going to be a little bit safe right here. And there we go. Soy milk is absolutely insane. Because we have split tiers, each of our tiers splits up. Every single godhead does a bit of damage, which is awesome. Now, I think I do want to take Blood Oath as well. Blood Oath is pretty simple. It requires a red heart, uh, some coins. Okay, Blood Oath, come back. Where are you? I'm just going to spam B until it actually gives me Blood Oath back. Okay. There it is. Blood Oath is two coins, a bunch of red hearts, and two yuck hearts. So I need a bunch more red hearts and all of the yuck hearts I can find. So I need the yuck hearts. I need the red hearts and I need the yuck hearts. Oh, I'm at the... B oh, that's why I wasn't doing anything. I was at the bottom. Okay. So what I need is more red hearts, more yuck hearts, and we can will be good wait am i on already on the lap i'm so stupid i don't even need you know what i do not need blood oath i just realized that i'm dumb i'm a little stupid oh i'll still get it just in case i can continue this i, I actually i want to go look around the floor real fast for some reason i thought we were on on corpse one or something jeez jeez now imagine we get rock bottom right here or imagine we get something that gives us a crazy amount of consumables in the ground that is actually going to be very, very useful for our crafting needs. 
Okay. Number one, we don't need. I can actually, if I just get two bombs and some coins, I can actually make Lohi's horns, which is actually really good. <laughs> nice. And right here, I can get as much damage as I possibly can. I'm gonna shoot my shoot the wall. I might actually destroy the the devil beggar. Please don't destroy the devil beggar. Thank you. Look, we are literally infinite health at this point. Not what I want, but I'll craft you real quick. That is a, a decent amount of damage. It also counts towards Leviathan, which we don't care about too much. And I think, honestly, a Continuum might be really good. Actually, I don't know. I think Continuum means we don't hit walls, which is kind of bad. Ooh, that's fun. How, where are my keys at? I think I want my Reflection. My Reflection is actually cool. They buffed it to where it has more damage and more uh, tier rate, I believe, or something like that. So I need you. Where's my reflection? Come back. I hate when stuff moves around. Oh, I could also make tiny planet. Okay, where's my reflection? Give me my reflection back. I know this is like one of the most boring runs ever, but I'm having the time of my life right now. Let me tell you, I love... Another soy milk would be so much fun. Okay, now I want to lock by doing X. So I need a red heart. Okay, that is not locking. When I say lock and it's like, you were locked in, buddy. <laughs> it's just instantly just move screens that, I don't know. Okay, I need a yuck heart, some keys, which my yuck heart is over here. A yuck heart, so I need two bombs and one key. I need one more bomb, one more key, a card, where's the card, oh, the card's up here, I know, this is the slowest run ever, there's no sacrifice room, so I'm not even going to be able to continue on after this, but here's the thing, the spirit of this run is going crazy, now there probably could, there's probably crazier stuff I could have made throughout this run, also is there not, there's a bomb, okay, good, I got, I got scared. My reflection's fine. And I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna get a bunch of coins. I'm just gonna get another uh, Roid Rage, so I get just extra damage. It's the cheapest thing I can make. It's honestly a really good idea just to get spun as early as you can, whenever you have just all the stuff to craft. Okay, good. And I think I'm actually gonna try to craft this real quick. So it's a pill, it's a key, it's four coins, which I actually just have right here. It's a yuck heart and a red heart. So there's a red heart down here. I don't know where the, the red heart is. Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna kill my two familiars. And this is not terrible. Is it good? No. Is it terrible? So no. I'm actually going to grab everything in here. I don't want Tick. I don't want Tick. Tick is not the worst thing ever, but I don't want it. Thank you. And now we just keep on going. This is this is our time to shine. This is our time to go crazy and kill the boss. Good. Now, this is a big floor. I, there might actually be a sacrifice room still. I kind of thought we were nearing the end, so that's why I kind of assumed there wasn't going to be one. There still could be. Okay. Oh my gosh, you're actually taking so much damage. Maybe something like wasn't the choice that we should have made. Swimlock is crazy. I don't even care about any of this. I'm just going to go fight the boss. You know what? I spent too much time here. Let's see how much damage we do. And here's the thing. If we take damage, we can get our health back. We just can't die. Look at this. We go into the corner. We blow ourselves up a little bit. We heal up, and we're good. Now what we're really waiting for is for kidney stone. Ready? We just go crazy. 
Now, lost contact would have been pretty fun with this. Sadly, we did not get lost contact. If you put bombs in front of Mother, she slows down a bunch so you can dodge easier and it's free damage. The thing that always gets me about these is the tears actually stay behind even whenever like the, the weird worms go past you, so it's so easy to get hit if you're trying to dodge. Oh, I gotta charge all the way up. Here. No, I don't even care about taking damage. I'm in here. I'm locked in. And nothing. And that's it. <laughs> well, that right there was an hour long run full of not much because guess what? All of that is just lacquer. We got like four items that are actually really crazy. We did get Godhead. Actually, just straight up got Godhead, which is absolutely wild. I love Godhead. We have Eden's Blessing, so an extra item tomorrow. That was a bag of crafting run. Now, I both love and hate bag of crafting runs because guess what? They take 14 million years if you do them like correct, I would say. Or you can just do them fast and get a bunch of random items and still have a great run. But that was sick. That was really fun. Hope you guys did enjoy that. That's win number 359 in a row. If you guys did like, please leave a thumbs up, a like on the video. Helps my channel a lot. Helps me grow. Thank you guys all for watching. And as always, it's in Preets. Peace out. Bye.